a mild steel shaft a mild steel shaft of 60 mm diameter of 60 mm diameter Six zero, okay. Six mm diameter is subjected to is subjected to bending moment of is subjected to bending moment of twenty five into ten power five newton millimeter. Twenty five into is subjected to. A bending moment of twenty-five into ten power five newton millimeter. Okay, and torque T and torque T and torque T. Stop. If the yield point of steel in tension is, if the yield point of steel in tension is, if the yield point of tension is two thirty newton per mm square. If the yield point of steel in tension is two thirty newton per mm square, two thirty newton per mm square, find the maximum value of this torque. Find the maximum value of this torque. Without causing yielding, without causing yielding of the shaft, without causing yielding of the shaft, without causing yielding of the shaft, according to, according to, according to. Number one, number one, maximum principal stress theory. Maximum principal stress theory. Maximum principal stress theory, or it's called Rankine's theory, or it's also called maximum normal stress theory. Okay, according to maximum principal stress theory of failure, two, two. Maximum shear stress theory of failure. Maximum shear stress theory of failure. Maximum shear stress theory of failure. Okay. Akshat B S, are you there? Akshat. Okay. Anyway, uh, Mundiyor, hello. Yes, sir. Please read the problem. A mild steel shaft of. Yeah, hold on. Others, others, hold on, hold on, hello. Others, please look into your books. Please look into your books and extract the data. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Mundiyor. A mild steel shaft of diameter 60 mm is subjected to bending moment of 25 into 10 power 5 newton millimeter. Yeah. If yield point of steel in tension is 230 newton per millimeter square, find mm. the maximum value of this torque without causing yielding of the shaft according to maximum principal stress theory and maximum shear stress theory. And please add. Please add. Adopt F O S is equal to one point five. 
adopt FOS is equal to 1.5. FOS is equal to 1.5. Okay? Fine. Is the writing clear on the board, whatever that I have written? Is that visible for you all? Just check. Yes, sir. Clarity is there, huh? uh, 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 Tarun? Yes, sir. It's clear. Yeah. Yeah. See, there is a mild steel shaft of 60 mm diameter. Okay which is subjected to a bending moment and also a torque. Okay, so it's a combined loading case. Okay, so with the bending moment of 25 to 10 power 5 Newton millimeter given in the problem, diameter of the shaft is uh, 60 mm and uh, yield stress is 230 Newton per mm square and factor of safety given is 1.5. We need to find out the torque, okay, and torque T. So find the maximum value of this torque so where do we get torque T? We have tau is equal to 16 T by pi D Q. This is where the torque value can be found out. So for finding out this torque, we need to first find out the shear stress. So where do I get the shear stress? Since it is a combined loading case, combined loading case, I have bending stress sigma V is equal to M by Z. That will give me 25 into 10 power 5 Newton millimeter divided by pi into pi d cube by 32, correct? Is the section modulus for a circular cross section. This will give me the value of bending stress. First thing. Okay. Second thing is, second thing is, I have the shear stress tau is equal to 16 t by pi d cube, which I don't know the value of this shear stress. Now we have principal stress equation given by sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to half of sigma plus or minus root sigma square plus 4 tau square. Okay. So there is a value that I have got. Now substitute these values Okay, so I am going to get half of sigma, you substitute and get the value of sigma 1 and sigma 2. In terms of, in terms of, find out sigma 1 and sigma 2, give me the value of bending stress first. Give me the value of bending stress, then we will go further. 117.893 megapascal. So substitute 117.9 plus or minus root 117.9 square plus 4 tau square. Okay. So next, what you can do is you can have this two divided throughout and you are going to get. The next simplification, can you get me the value of sigma 1 by simplifying this? This is what I are going to get divided by 2. You are going to get 58.98.94 plus root of root of 117.9 square plus 4 tau square divided by 2. This is sigma 1. Similarly with negative value there, I am going to get sigma 2 to be equal to 58.94 minus root of 117.9 square plus 4 tau square divided by 2. This is what the values of Sigma 1 and 2, you are going to get. Okay? Are we there? Is writing clear on the board for you? Is it clear? Clarity is there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Sigma 1 is now known. Okay, Sigma 2 is known. So, according to maximum principal stress theory, we have, we have Sigma Y by 
एफ ओ एस इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा वन करेक्ट सो सिग्मा वाई बाई एफ ओ एस इज ऑन मच टू थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज टू थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट फाइव इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा वन इज फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन प्लस रूट ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटीन पॉइंट नाइन स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टू स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू ओके All right. So 230 by 1.5 will give me 153.3. That is equal to. So what you can do is, so bring this 58.9 to the left hand side. Okay. Bring 58.9 to the left hand side. That's going to be 58.9 is equal to root of 117.9 square plus 4 square divided by 2. What is 153.3 minus 58.9? What is the value that you are going to get? Yeah. So 94.4. 94.4 is equal to root of 117.9 square plus 4 square divided by 2. Cross multiply this two to the left hand side. That's going to be 2 four by 8, 8, 1 8. Okay. Is equal to root of 117.9 square plus 4 square. Now squaring both sides. Okay, squaring both sides. We are going to get 188.8 square is equal to 117.7 square plus 4 square. Okay, so therefore tau is equal to you are going to get it. Value, right? When tau is equal to 16 t by 5 d cube, so therefore t is equal to get the value. Is that okay? Are you there? So Sir, is it 73.73 the the tau value? Which one? Tau value is 73.7. Yeah, 73.72 mega pascal is what I have got. Then find out the tau. Others, please follow. Any doubt? If you have, please let me know. Here it is quite simple. Bending moment is given. Bending stress is known. From shear stress only, we can find out the tau, which is asked in the problem. So therefore, sigma one comma two equation you write substitute the value of uh, bending moment over that. Then, 117.9 divided by two will give you 58.9 plus. So this has to be divided by two again, right? So sigma one you are going to get. Then from Rankine's theory, we have sigma y by four is equal to sigma one. Sigma y is given in the problem to 13 mega pascal. Factor of safety is 1.3 given. So divide that. Bring this 58.9 to the left hand side. Then cross multiply two. Then squaring both sides, you are going to get shear stress. From there, you are going to get the torque. Now, what is the torque value? So 3.1263 into 10 power 6 newton per millimeter. So yeah, 10 power 6, correct? 6. Yes. Sir. So what I have got here, I have just instead of it taken. Three one two six six seven nine point five newton millimeter. That is three point one two into ten power six. Okay, seven nine point five. Yeah, three one two six six seven nine point five, or you can also write it as three point one two or one three into ten power six newton millimeter. Okay. Anybody? Any doubt in simplification? Chinma, is the writing clear on the board? Is it visible for all? Let me find out with others. Karthik Avasti. Yes, sir. Is it clear? What are that's written on the board? Yes, sir. Properly visible. Hmm. You are watching it in mobile or laptop? So I'm currently on the mobile. 
currently on the mobile. What currently on the mobile? You have the system with you? Yes, sir. Then this is of no use, I say. I'll tell you. Huh? For theory, with PPT lab, to some extent, that's fine. But not for problematic subjects. Hmm? Anyway, yeah. Jayant Bansali, is the writing clear there in your laptop or you are also on mobile? I'm on the laptop and it's clear, sir. It's clear, huh? fine. Yes, sir. Yeah, those who are not done, please write down and then adopt a similar procedure for finding out using maximum shear stress theory. According to maximum shear stress theory, tau max is equal to what? Tau max is equal to half root sigma square plus 4 tau square. Okay? Tau max is what? 0.5 sigma y divided by F4s that is equal to half root sigma square plus 4 tau square. Okay? So it is going to be half of sigma y by F4s that is going to be 153.3 divided by 2 is what you are going to get it on left hand side. So that is that is how much? 7 76.6 is equal to half of root 117.9 square plus 4 tau square. Okay? Right? So using this expression, right? Find out tau for, for our shear stress theory. Find out tau and find out t. Give me these values. Give me these values. According to shear stress theory, these are all important problems from examination point of view also. So please involve and do. Mahi Maharaj, are you okay? Yes, sir. Fine. Jitin Kumar, working? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I'm getting 48.91. Uh, which one? Shear stress, is it? No. No? Okay. I'll check it out. Yeah. Find out shear stress. Give me the value of shear stress first. So I'm getting the value of tau as 48.99. Okay. 48.51. Yes, sir. Even I got the same. Yeah. It is 48.99. Yes, sir. 99. What is the value of tau? 2.06. 2.06. Two point zero seven nine kilonewton per meter. Two point zero seven nine. Okay, two point one into ten power six Newton per millimeter. Hey, torque is what I say. Newton millimeter. 
torsional moment into distance. Hmm? It is Newton millimeter. Okay. Yeah. Anybody who could not get this value? Let's say just simplify this. Okay. Square both sides. Bring this two to the left hand side. Then squaring both sides. Okay. So you are going to get uh, tau is equal to 48.99. Anybody needing more time to copy? Or shall we go to the next problem? One minute, sir. This problem was asked for uh, 14 marks. Okay. So please remember you are given with bending moment you have to find out t t you are going to get it in shear stress equation 16 t by pi d q okay and you are given with diameter of the shaft sigma y is known and factor of safety is known so when you come to maximum normal stress theories on one side sigma y by force is equal to sigma 1 so straight away sigma y by force is known so what our job is to find sigma 1 so since it is a combined loading case because you have bending moment as well as Torsional moment acting. So find out bending moment, take a differential stress equation for combined loading, substitute the value of sigma, tau we don't know, substitute and uh, sigma 1, you find it out in terms of tau, and then that sigma 1 you equate it to sigma y by FOS, simplify, get the value of tau, and in turn get the value of tau. Are you there? Ibab Tosar, could you understand? Yeah, yes, you are, yeah, you are able to understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody needing time to note it down? One minute, okay. one minute, one minute. Take the next problem. Take the next problem. This was asked for 10 marks again. A rod of circular cross section. A rod of circular cross section. A rod of circular cross section. is to sustain a rod of circular cross section is to sustain a torsional moment of a rod of circular cross section is to sustain a torsional moment of 300 kilo newton meter Torsional moment of 300 kilo newton meter. And bending moment of 200 kilo newton meter. And bending moment of 200 kilo newton meter. Okay. Selecting, selecting C45 steel. Selecting C45 steel. Selecting C45 steel within brackets. Sigma Y is equal to 353 megapascal. Sigma Y is equal to 353 megapascal. And assuming a FOS equal to 3, and assuming a FOS is equal to 3, determine the diameter of the rod, determine the diameter of the rod Determine the diameter of the rod as per the following theories of failure. As per the following theories of failure. As per the following theories of failure.
that number one maximum shear stress theory maximum shear stress theory number two distortion energy theory distortion energy Ansari, please read the problem. Yes, sir. A rod of circular cross section is to sustain a torsional moment of three hundred kilo newton meter and a bending moment of two hundred kilo newton meter. Yeah. Selecting C forty five steel. Sigma y is equal to three three fifty three megapascals, and yeah. assuming an FOS is equal to three, determine the diameter of the rod as per the following theories of failure. Okay. First one, maximum shear stress theory, and second one, distortion energy theory. What is that we need to determine now? Diameter of the rod. Diameter of the rod. This is what we need to find out. We are given with the torsional moment. And also bending moment, so it is a combined loading case. So for torsional moment, now is equal to 16 d by 5 d q, correct? So that is equal to 16 into torsional moment is 300 into 10 power 6 divided by 5 d q. Okay, you are going to get tau in terms of something divided by d q. First thing. Then we are given with bending moment. So the bending stress is what we need to find out. That is given by sigma b is equal to m by z. So what is m over there? It is 200 into 10 power 6 newton millimeter divided by pi d q divided by 32 is the section modulus. So therefore sigma b is equal to something divided by DQ. Are you following me? Are you following me? Okay. And now there is shear stress, there is bending stress. So automatically, I need to take, I need to take principal stress equation sigma one comma two is equal to half of what sigma plus or minus root sigma square plus four tau square. Okay, substitute the values half of sigma is how much? Something divided by d q plus or minus root of something divided by d q whole square. That's very very important. Plus four into something divided by d q whole square. Okay, right. Give me these values of tau now. Give me the value of tau. Tau is equal to 15.3 into what? 10 power 8. Okay, and divided by d cube. Then sigma is equal to 20.4 into. 10 power 8 divided by dq. Okay. When you simplify this, you are going to get this value. Substitute in place of sigma. That is 20.4 into 10 power 8. This is 20.4 into 10 power 8 by dq of square. And tau is 15.3 into 10 power 8. Divided by d q all square. Are you there with me? Are you there? Okay. Are you able to follow? Now simplify. Take d q all square. D q all square. That's going to be d q common. So that is when you redo it, it's going to be half of half of twenty point four. Into 10 power 8 by d q plus or minus 
1 by dq okay a root of root of 20.4 into 10 power 8 whole square plus 4 into 15.3 into 10 power 8 whole square okay right so that is equal to half of whatever right so dq will become common over there 1 by dq 20.4 into 10 power 8 plus or minus root of 20.4 into 10 power 8 whole square plus 4 into 15.3 into 10 power 8 whole square okay so therefore sigma 1 is equal to and sigma 2 is equal to get me these values sigma 1 is equal to simplify that okay sigma 1 you please give me the value of sigma 1 and sigma 2 who will give the value of sigma 1 and sigma 2 darshan are you there yes sir yeah are you working yes i'm doing it yeah If you have any doubt, please let me know. Sir, 2.855 into 10 power 9 by d cube. Sigma 1. 2.85 into 10 power? 9 cube. 10 power yeah. 9. Yeah. That's Divided by d cube. What I have taken is 28.58 into 10 power 8 divided by d cube okay and sigma 2 calculating sir So minus 8.18 into 10 power. No. Yeah, Eight, so. that's correct. That is minus 8.2 into 10 power 8 divided by dq. Correct? Okay. A minus 8.2 into 10 power 8 by d cube is the value of sigma one, sigma 2. Okay. So now what is it that's asked according to maximum shear stress theory? What is according to shear stress theory? If tau max is equal to 0.5 sigma y by fos, correct? So what is tau max here? So tau max, tau max is equal to tau max is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2. This is equal to 0.5 sigma y by f s sigma 1 is 28.58 minus of minus because plus divided by gain if I write that step again that is 28.58 okay minus of minus it's going to be anyway minus of minus 8.2 so common factor is 10 power 8 
divided by 2 is equal to what is sigma y? 353. Okay, that is 0 0.5 into 353 divided by what is factor safety? 3. Okay, so 28 plus 8, 36. 36.78, correct? Divided by 2 is how much? 18. 18.39. 18.39. 18.39 into 10 power 8, or this d cube is there, no? Yeah. Okay. Into d cube being common or that. So divided by, um, yeah, this is going to be d cube that is equal to. 0.5, 353 divided by 3. So therefore, the value of B is equal to 0. value of D is equal to anybody not getting this? It is 28.58 into 10 power 8 divided by d cube plus of minus 8.2 into 10 power 8 by d cube by 2. So d cube is common. This directly minus of minus is going to be plus. So 36.78 divided by 2 will become 18.39. Okay, that is equal to anyway part 10 power 8 is common in both cases. So I have taken 10 power 8 retained as it is and simplified. What is the value of d? What is the value of D now? Uh, sir, 250.02. Just check again. Okay. Uh, sir, 58.58 58 58.83. No, just check again. Okay. So 315.90. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. That is what uh, it is 315.1 uh, I got. That is rounded up to 316. Okay. It is 316 millimeter. This is according to maximum shear stress theory. Anybody, any doubt in this? Any doubt? Please let me know if you have any doubt. Okay. Next. Similarly, for maximum distortion energy theory, you solve and get me the value of diameter. So, according to distortion energy theory, it is given by sigma square by sigma square y by fos square is equal to sigma 1 square plus sigma 2 square okay minus sigma 1 sigma 2 correct is that correct yes it's 305.18 so. by what distortion energy theory is it Yes, sir. Excellent. Huh? Very good. 305, no? 305.18, sir. Yeah, I got 304. Point. That doesn't matter. 305 or 306. Round it up to 306. Others, please solve. Others, please solve the problem and get me the value of diameter. Or you can have sigma y by fos is equal to under root. So don't get down on both equations. Okay. Please solve and get me the value of diameter. Others, other than Tarun Pacholi, remaining people, I want you to give the answer.
305 sir diameter 305 mm yeah that's correct that's fine um we'll take a similar problem which was asked in uh, july 18 exam of your vt exam and we go ahead with the next problem anybody needing time to note it down yes sir yes sir one minute yeah So substitute sigma one and sigma two from there or here. So d cube is going to be common. Take it out. Okay. And then uh, on left hand side you have three fifty three by three. Then uh, simplify that. You are going to get the value of d. Did you all receive your uh, test marks? Yes, sir. It will come to your individual mails, is it? How does it happen? Can we? Yes, sir. How does uh, the marks will come to your individual mails, sir? Or uh, you mean public class, global class, class? Yes, sir. So both. So both. Or get in both places, sir. Okay. Yes. So those who have got less marks and so on, please go through the comments. Hmm? While copying, I uh, should be careful at least. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Take the next problem. Ah, uh, this was asked for ten marks. A shaft made of C forty steel. A shaft. Made of C40 steel, a shaft made of C40 steel is subjected to. So C40 steel is given in the problem. Okay, he has not given you the value of yield stress. You have to. It is imperative that you have to extract the value of uh, yield stress from your data handbook, or otherwise it is 324 megapascal. That you can remember. A shaft made of C40 steel is subjected to a bending moment of 10 km. Bending moment of 10 kilonewton meter. Subjected to a bending moment of 10 kilonewton meter. This you can convert it into newton millimeter by multiplying it by 10 power 6. And a twisting moment of 8 km. Twisting moment of 8 kilonewton meter your force use this 2.5 your force is this use this 2.5 So stop. Determine, determine the diameter required. Determine the required diameter of the shaft. Determine the required diameter of the shaft. Determine the required diameter of the shaft according to, according to. Why Manu A K has come to present it? Yeah. According to number one, maximum shear stress theory of failure. Maximum shear stress theory of failure. Number two, number two, maximum distortion energy theory of failure. Maximum distortion energy theory of Failure. Okay. All right. 
So it's on similar lines as to what we did in the previous example. Solve and get me the value of diameter for in both cases of failure. Abhishek Narayan, I want you to give me the answer. Okay. Abhishek Narayan, are you there? Are you there? Abhishek Narayan. Your mic is on. You are not speaking. I am there. Hmm. I want you to give the answer. Apart from that, um, Guda Jain Reddy, are you there? So, uh, yeah, so the call one give me the answer. Uh, or you are traveling? Yes, you are traveling somewhere in the bus, sir? No, sir. Hmm. Call one give me the answer. In time, answer your roll call. One. Sai Suman. Two. Present, sir. Three. Present, sir. Four. Present, sir. Five. Present, sir. Six. Present, sir. Akram, are you able to understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Jadav? Mundiyur? Present, sir. Uh, nine? Nambia? Yeah, you are audible, Abhishek Narayan. You are audible. Nadella? Present, sir. Um, 11? Yes, sir. 12? Present, sir. 13? Present, sir. Yeah, yeah, okay. 13? Present, sir. 14? Present, sir. 15? Present, sir. 17? Present, sir. 18? Present, sir. 19? Present, sir. 20. 10, sir. 21. Hrithik Shah. 22. Bansali. You are there anyway. Present, sir. Yeah, yeah. 23. Yes, sir. 24. Present, sir. 25. Twenty six, present sir. Twenty seven, Kiran V. Thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, present sir. Thirty four, yes sir. Thirty five. 36? Yes, sir. 37? 38? Sir, 32 present, sir. 32. Where were you, I say? Sir, that my mic didn't open, sir. Okay. Uh, 38? 
नितिन थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी यस सर फोर्टी वन यस सर फोर्टी टू यस सर फोर्टी थ्री यस सर फोर्टी फोर ऋषि दिनेश्वर फोर्टी सिक्स यस सर फोर्टी सेवन यस सर फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एट फोर्टी नाइन यस सर फिफ्टी यस सर फिफ्टी टू यस सर फिफ्टी थ्री यस सर फिफ्टी फोर सलूजा फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स प्रेजेंट सर फिफ्टी सेवन यस सर फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी एट फिफ्टी नाइन सिक्सटी यस सर सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी टू यस सर सिक्सटी थ्री वेक सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फाइव प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट सिक्सटी थ्री प्रेजेंट सिक्सटी थ्री प्रेजेंट सर सिक्सटी थ्री प्रेजेंट था वेक वेर वर यू सर आई वाज राइटिंग हम्म प्रेजेंट सर सक्षम सिंह यस सर प्रेजेंट सर ओके ओके चैतन्य यस सर मणिबॉल निशांत रमेश शशांक अक्षत प्रेजेंट सर चौधरी क्राय प्रेजेंट सर महिमा राज प्रेजेंट सर श्री वत्सन प्रेजेंट सर या या प्रेजेंट सुमन जेवियर मदन कुमार मदन मनु ये के मनु शदाब खान गणेश विजय कुमार सर ऋषि या और जो आंसर है इसे अभिषेक नारायण ऑलरेडी लेफ्ट ग्रेट You may you tell your friend Abhishek Narayan that he has been marked absent, eh? right? Abhishek Narayan is a three. Yeah. Yeah. What is the answer for diameter? Tarun, Chinmay, Charisma. महिमा राज फर्स्ट टाइम गेटिंग 100.21 हाउ मच 100.21 या एग्जैक्टली 100.3 दैट इज 101 एमएम यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इन शेयर स्पेस थ्योरी सिग्मा वन फॉर अदर्स प्लीज नोट डाउन सिग्मा इज इक्वल सिग्मा बेंडिंग इज 101.9 इनटू 10 पावर 6 बाय डी क्यूब 
And yes, the sir. test is 40.7 Please note down, those who are not able to do, sigma is 101.9 into 10 power 6 by dq. What is shear stress? Shear stress is 40.7 into 10 power 6. Okay? Correct? Huh? Then from there, you are going to get sigma 1 to be equal to Sigma 1 is how much you are going to get? 116 point 16.15 into 10 power 6 by dq, correct? And sigma 2 is minus 14.2 into 10 power 6 by dq, correct? Yes, yes sir. So from distortion energy theory, we are going to get that is what we get uh, according to shear stress theory, according to distortion energy theory. What is that we get? So I got 28.5. Yes, check, yes, check. Distortion energy theory, please check. 98.54. How much? Yes. Yes, 98.54. 98, uh, correct, no? Yes, sir. So 98.54. 98.5, that is rounded up to 99 mm. This is according to distortion energy theory. D is equal to 99 mm. Okay? All right, then.